Welcome Aries and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition, reading you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. This is for the collective. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on in your connection? How do you see the situation? What's happening here? Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. Some of you could work with this person or this person kind of work type issue that may come arise. Like someone's worried about money. Someone's worried about some kind of security or even like some kind of um, self-employment. Uh, I don't know. I guess something like someone who may be starting their own business or is like working really hard. Okay. We have privileged lady here with despair. And we really just get such a different contrast here, like somebody like now hiring someone, uh, like you know, um, someone who maybe feels somehow in a way that they, even if they have a job, it's like that. It can be someone who feels like they will never be able to provide the kind of life that they feel that this privileged woman deserves. And again, not that she needs to have like lavish things, but I kind of get that sense of there's someone here who feels like you deserve the world. Whether you're male or female, this kind of gives me like Nine of Pentacles vibes. Like someone very successful, intelligent, you know, sophisticated, you know, very well educated. Like it just gives me that vibe of someone who like takes care of themselves, who looks good, smells good, you know, works hard, very ambitious, a lot of dreams, very well put together. And like somebody who just feels like they will never quite amount or they're worried about how someone's family is going to perceive them. We also have community here and then we have thoughts. So I feel like for some of you this could be um, about a masculine, okay, again, we don't read gender, but I'm going to read it how I most predominantly see it, but some of it can be reversed, okay? So if I say he, it could be she and vice versa. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this person can't stop thinking about this woman that they feel is out of their league. And that doesn't mean that that's true, but that's how they see it. They feel like they don't, they're afraid to make their move because they feel like you're just someone that would never have interest in them. Or they could never really be the kind of person, like, you might have, like, went to college and they do not. Or they may work, like, a manual labor job and, you know, you have, like, a really good office job. Or, you know, you're a very successful author or something. Or there's just something about you they feel that they, it, it's like you intimidate them, even unintentionally. I think that none of that really matters to you, but to them, like, they feel like they don't earn enough money or they're not in a position right now where they could really offer you the type of life that you really deserve. Like I was saying, for some of you, I mean, it could even be that this person's, like, really embarrassed of, like, where they live, of, you know, their upbringing, their child, maybe even meeting their family or their parents because maybe they, like, as an example, not that, again, not that this stuff matters, but they may worry, like, because maybe they grew up in, like, a trailer park or something. Nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, I, I also do. Maybe they feel like there's embarrassment or something about like their family or um, what they have or like bringing you back to their home or something. Or they don't want to tell you how bad their financial situation actually is. Again, like I said, I don't think this really matters to you. But like this person, they just, they don't want to have to like you to pull all the weight in this relationship. I think that you're very accomplished, very successful, ambitious, driven, motivated, you know, um, like you have a plan, like a direction in life, and for this person, they may have goals, but they don't know how to manifest them. They don't know how to create it. No matter how hard they work, they don't seem to get where they want to go. It could also be that they have family that like uses them or like is constantly asking for money from them. For some of you, this person might have even had to ask you for money and felt a lot of embarrassment for that. Okay. What's the obstacle here? What needs to be healed, surrendered, or released, please? What is the obstacle here? What needs to be healed? surrendered or released please spirit what needs to be healed surrendered or released okay under the deck it does say surrender to complete healing which says open fully to the loving compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical emotional and spiritual well-being so i mean this person has a lot of healing to do okay especially when it comes like their self-worth okay Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So it's not that this person doesn't have ambitions, but it's like they constantly feel like it's without, it's not within their grasp, right? 
uh, surrender to your full power. That your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. For some of you, I kind of get the sense this person like wants to run a business or runs a business, but they don't see as much success as they may make it out to be. And then we have surrender your need to always be right, which says give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Again, I feel like this person does really struggle with pride. Like, they get easily embarrassed when they shouldn't. These things don't matter. And, like, you know, it's understandable we're human to feel a certain way or whatever. But I feel like this person is, like, kind of ashamed to kind of really open up about these things. They want to impress you. It's, like, really important to them. I think this person has so much potential to see so much more success. I think you actually could help each other a lot because this person could learn so much from you and, like, receive so much, like, motivation and confidence. Like, you would definitely, like, encourage them, support them. But they don't really let you in and kind of tell you about these struggles and fears and concerns that they have. Um, like, you would definitely be, like, very reassuring and, and really make them feel special. But they just don't want to open that door. Like, they're very resistant. Like, it's some kind of, like, again, like, past pain or, like, um, fears they have when it comes to, like you know, talking about, because again, for some of you, it's, for some of you, it may not necessarily be that there's like no money or something or no work. It can be that maybe they have family who is like constantly like dependent on them or, or, or like family who mismanages money is always asking for favors or something. For some of you, it could be that they're kind of embarrassed about like their family. But for some of you, like I said, I also kind of get there could be some kind of emphasis like in regards to work or some kind of business that they own or that they are trying to like be successful or something. Let's see. What is this person's thoughts about you? We have the strength card. This is Leo energy. We have the knight of wands. The seven of... Look at all this wand energy here. And the four of... Oh, wow. All, all fire. Strong Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. This... Under the deck is Queen of Cups. This is water. Um, this person... What do they think about you? Well, you're somebody who does not back down from challenges. You know, you life has really challenged you a lot. You've been through a lot, and you always just keep moving forward. You know, you are someone who tries to motivate and inspire others. You're very creative. You're very talented. Some of you, I kind of get, like, the sense of, like, being a jack-of-all-trades. Like, you're very good at a lot of things, or good at a lot of things, or, like... Anytime you learn something new, you're able to pick it up very easily, very, you know, it's like you're very adaptable. Um, I feel like you're someone who really fights for what you believe in. They think of you as someone that really does feel like home to them, feels very comforting to them. And even with that Queen of Cups under the deck, Queen of Cups, again, it's like water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's the energy of someone, male or female, who's very compassionate, very nurturing, very empathetic, very healing, very kind. So the thoughts are very positive about you, but there can be some inconsistencies. Like maybe they're very guarded with you and very in and out and very back and forth with you. What is this person's feelings for you? What does this person feel for the collective Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please? What does this person feel for the collective Aries? What does this person feel? Again, all this fire energy. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Wands. The eight of ones, look at all this fire. Like you definitely could be dealing with a fellow fire sign or, or a water sign. I mean it could be any sign, but then we have the king of cups here. Um I, I yeah, a lot of fire, a lot of water. You could also have strong water in your chart. Um They, f they honestly feel like they're making this so much harder for themselves than they need to. Because the thing about it is, is this person feels like the two of you are actually supposed to be together. Like I said, I saw the Queen of Cups originally under here. Um, they feel like you're supposed to be together. You have the same feelings about each other. But they make it more difficult than it needs to be. They feel like you will end up together. They feel so much passion and desire for you, but they really want to impress you. Like they care way too much about how other people perceive them. Um, especially like you, and that's the thing, it's like in a relationship, you know, it's really important that you feel like you can just be yourself. And they, they do, but when it comes to these material things, they really worry about it. Um, and like how like family is like they might be 
like their family might be, might be like kind of they might think call them like crazy or something like they embarrass them they're impulsive they're childish they're you know and they may tell them you know stories they don't like or show pictures they don't like it's like something about they kind of embarrassed or ashamed about where they come from and they wor they worry this person I think they have so much potential though I mean creativity full power right it's like if they would just like be open to it right and not hold themselves back or, or get in their own way like I kind of get that energy of like self-sabotaging like holding themselves back from the connection with you but still like wanting you desiring you feeling like you're the complete package what is their intentions with you please what is this person's intentions with the collective we have the world so there could be some distance here maybe some of your communication is online um all this water and fire like uh, wow, okay. And well, now we have a little bit of earth. Okay. Another the deck is a high priestess. Well, this person doesn't want you to ever really know. And this is the problem here. This is the, this is the issue. This person doesn't want you to know, like, their secrets. They want to... Pisces Cancer. This person wants to hold these things to themselves. Um, though they know that, that... Again, like I said, it's not that this person sees you. I feel like this is so specific. It's not that this person sees you as somebody who would judge them or think less of them. But they just... They just don't want to, they don't want that awkward feeling of being like, yeah, well, I actually, I didn't grow up with much or, you know, we struggled to get food on the table or, you know, I, I've had to work, you know, seven jobs in the last year. Like they don't, you get what I'm saying? Like whatever their thing is, it's like, it could be different for each of them, but it's, there's something about family, about money, about security and not feeling enough. Okay. Like maybe this person's like self-made. They've worked really hard to get this job, but they don't want you to know like how they had to struggle or something. And they're really afraid that you, that they cannot provide for you or something. Because with that privileged lady, again, it's not that you need anyone else to take care of you. You're very independent. You're very successful. You're very accomplished. Um, but again, it's like they feel like they they would always compare themselves to you. You're someone who's just so you know, confident and sure of yourself and work so hard and, and maybe even makes more money than them or is more financially stable in some way or has, has like a more secure upbringing or some sort. This person's intentions is to like date, to spend time with you, but I do see challenge here because there could be distance for some of you. Um, it's like this person may continue to struggle financially or, or they work really hard to overcompensate. Like this person may be like a workaholic or something. Like they're always traveling or they're always like taking extra shifts because this person has like been conditioned to feel like if I don't constantly work, I might lose everything. Um, but they still like want to date and try to make it work. But it does feel like sometimes your communication and your connection could be a bit inconsistent because it's like they're always so preoccupied with like the financial material aspect of things. What does this person want you to know? What does this person want you to know? Leap of faith. It is safe to make the move that you're considering. This person does think about being with you, but they've been really worried about that. Um, but again, once they kind of go through this process of realizing these things aren't really important, they already know that you're somebody who would never judge them or think less of them. Like you really ad admire them. You, you really do like see them as someone, you know, who really, you know, catch your attention. You could see yourselves with them, um, building a life with them. You know, it could be such a blessing in this connection between you and this person. You know, like, if they get out of their own head, if they get out of their own way, if they stop self-sabotaging, you know, Spirit is saying it is safe for them to make a move towards you because they do want to. They want to be with you. Intuition, you already know the answer that you seek. I think that deep down you've kind of, you kind of already know this is really just confirming for you what you felt intuitively uh, about the situation, about this person and what's holding them back soulmate your soulmate loves accepts and respects you and this person does recognize that you're somebody who would never think less of them or judge them they could trust you and feel safe with you and vice versa interference an external party is a truthless relationship now this could mean a couple things for some of you i mean it could be that maybe they were married in the past or they have an ex for some of you uh, or there's family somehow involved like i said because i kind of get that sense of the community like there could be family that they're kind of ashamed of or embarrassed of release radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go so they may have to kind of set some really clear boundaries of people in their life or just kind of let go of the idea that they you know they cannot control the situation Chuka sexual this connection is passionate but not enduring but like I said there's a lot of positive energy here this person in the beginning may have intended for this to just be sexual passionate they didn't really see it going anywhere but the problem is that they did fall for you 
but they're almost intimidated by you and now when things are getting serious they're feeling really self-conscious about things so i think there's so much potential for this connection to move forward but they're going to have to really be open to healing and stop holding themselves back so that's what i have for you thank you guys so much for watching thank you for liking sharing and subscribing thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats it is greatly appreciated as always i wish you strength and many blessings bye bye